Hey guys, it's been a while since I went from an update uh, from my Feel Free Lure 11.5 tournament boat. Made a few changes, uh, moved over to the Hobie Pro Angler 14. Uh, qualified and fished the 2016 KBF National Championship. Have already qualified to fish the 2017 KBF National Championship. So I just thought I'd check in and give you guys a rundown uh, what we got going on. I'll start with the, the trailer. It's a Triton LT aluminum PWC trailer. Uh, made some modifications, took the winch off the front, moved it forward down on the tongue so I could move this big old long boat all the way up to the front. It is 14 foot long, so it takes a lot of trailer. Uh, use the Unistrut to drop it down into the cradle, make it ride nice and low. 3-inch PVC carpeted with bunk carpet, a couple turn downs to help with the loading. Uh, move around this side, have an 8-inch tube, rod tube. Nice and locked up. Keeps my rods ready to roll at all times. There's the uh, qualification sticker. Boom. Uh, but let's give a little rundown. This trailer's got all LED lighting great little trailer but anyway we'll just start in the back uh, power pole micro anchor I don't have the spike into the course but uh, eight and a half foot spike you can anchor down in about six six and a half foot of water silent push of a button I actually have a key fob I hang around my net but I also have the up and down controls here right next to me right next to my rudder controls so when I'm fishing if I need to quickly anchor down hit the down button the pole drops uh, and you're sitting pretty uh, right up from that have my yak attack black pack full of all my tackle well not all my tackle but a lot of my hard baits crank baits jerk baits stuff like that uh, equipped with eight rod tubes I always carry eight rods when I'm out fishing you could prefer the pro angler does have six horizontal rod holders that go uh, up into the hole, but I don't like my deck cluttered up. I want it nice and open. Boondocks landing gear. If you've got a Pro Angler 14, and you want to think about the boondocks. This, uh, I can't pivot it down while it's on the trailer, but slide it back, the wheels pivot down, I can roll into the water. Once I'm in the water, reach back, put the wheels back up out of the way, and I'm fishing. Uh, when I come in from fishing, if there's a line to back the trailer's in, I flip the wheels down, run up to the ramp boom, I'm out and gone just pull it up and ride it back up on the trailer these are actually the rod stagers that go inside the hole if you're using the horizontal rod tubes I use them on the outside of the hole uh, I used to have a, my paddle stage there and two of the rods I'm using the most uh, I alternate them back and forth because they're right there I don't have to spin around and get them once I get in on the action uh, keeps them out of the way, keeps them safe. You have the little lanyards, you pop them over, they, they won't go anywhere. Uh, the Rants Elite 7 Ti, great, great kayak unit. Uh, I want to thank my friend Jeremy Bogard over at Skyline Marina. He takes care of me. Uh, electronics, bait, tackle, rods, reels. You name it, Jeremy's got it over there at Skyline Marina and Outfitters in Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Uh, of course, with the Hobie Pro Angler, you have the Mirage Drive, sets down in the hole. Pedal power, I do carry a paddle. If you get in real shallow water, you can flutter step. But once you get down below about a foot, uh, I can grab the paddle, move right on through. You have a huge hatch. I'm not gonna get into it. It's packed full of soft plastics probably 30 40 pounds worth probably more than I should have <laughs> but uh, I have a yak attack boom stick mounted to a round ball in the cell mount I'm not going selling flip that up my camera sits right over out of the way put hero shots of the big fish uh, I also have my, another GoPro mount here the Targus raise it up overhead shot great camera angle to see the fight uh, of course, the pro angler seat raises up. It's down for travel. I keep my 
jig box with all my Omega custom tackle under the seat. I love jig fishing. Then I have a gold box down there, other baits I think I'm going to be using throughout the day. You have tackle storage in the floor. All my terminal tackle is down there. So uh, that's all on this side. If you move around, you'll be in the rod tube. I use a Yak Attack paddle holder on an H rail mount. My net sits right up here. The handle sits right about here. Just right there. So when I'll catch a fish, if I need to net it, I'm not turning around trying to reach behind me and get a net. It's right there. The net of fish uh, works great. Of course, the cup holder, stay hydrated, folks. Drink plenty of water while you're out there and get a raid. Then I have the uh, tackle bin over the side. And this handy tool right here. This right here is from Cal Coast Fishing. I use this to stage my fish. Uh, I've got it carabined off. Clip it in their mouth, set it over the side while I'm getting my stuff ready because I'm always fishing the, the catch folder on these tournaments. Holds the fish securely, they're not going anywhere. It locks, uh, it's, it's not going anywhere. There's my uh, hog trough, if I keep it back behind me. Uh, rail mount, I put my Yak Attack Vizzy carbon pole there with my light. So we're good there. But guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want a tournament fish and you want to carry a lot of gear and you're going to be out on the water, it's hard to be a pro angler. They're heavy. Uh, I had to go with the trailer. I didn't want to fight one up in the back of the truck all the time. But uh, again, awesome, awesome boat. I want to thank Jeremy Bogard over at the Skyline Marine and Outfitters for help on the, my Laurent, Shimano, all those good things he can hook you up. And uh, all the guys and gals over at Omega Custom Tackle. Best jig in the business right there. American-owned, veteran-owned. If you want some great jigs, give these guys a call. OmegaCustomTackle.com. You won't be disappointed. Uh, got a lot of new stuff coming out vibrating jigs uh got one of the best uh buzz baits on the market and uh, uh no doubt the best jigs on the market they have caught all my personal best fish have come on the omega custom tackle jig but again guys if you have any questions post up be glad to help until then i'll see you out on the water